Peter, you've talked a lot so far in these playoffs about Vincent Trocek and everything he does for you. Well, he leads yeah. your team in ice time, to, leads the game in ice time tonight, yeah. scores the winning goal. I don't know what more you could say yeah. about him, but you what did you, you think? You want me to? Yeah, I, I mean, just maybe about this game in well, general. Well, it, you know? it goes back to what I said, if you think about it. Now it's, now it's in playoffs, and it gets pushed into games that have an overtime or multiple overtimes, and yet his role doesn't change. And um, he... He's part of every part of the game. I mean, I'm double shifting him just for backing up face-offs or just getting two sentiment on the ice. And that's more time on the ice. That's extended time. The power play, the penalty kill, the five-on-five -five play, his lines production, the end of a game either way. Um, and uh, he just he just keeps answering the bell with it. You know, he's he was I mean, he was noticeable. He's engaged. You can see it in the way, in his demeanor, and you can see it in the way he's playing the game. He's engaged. Obviously, Shesty played outstanding. He kept us in the game multiple different times. Um, and then on the goal, I couldn't tell you what happened, so <laughs> it went in. Vincent, what's the feeling when the puck goes in the net finally there in the overtime? I don't know. I'll watch it and let you know tomorrow. Uh, Vincent, just the, the way that game went, you know, the a lot of stretches, a lot of pressure on both ends. Um, did you just kind of feel like one one break, one bounce was going to be the thing that made it happen? Yeah, typically in those games, whenever they go into overtime, double overtime, any team, I mean, anybody can win those games. It could just be a sifter from the point that hits off three guys. Anything could happen. So um, we're just thankful it was us. Um, yeah, I think just. Uh, two years ago, losing in <clears throat> um, third round, and last year, obviously, what happened? It, you learn a lot from it, and um, I think this year we're uh, we made good move to get really good players at the deadline, and um, I think we're a complete team. And um, you know, from forwards to D to our goalies, both of them uh, were really complete, so uh, that helps a lot. And I know you've been a consistent team all season long with the resiliency and just hanging around and finding a way. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, they're not an easy team to, to come back from behind uh, on and uh, to do it multiple times. And uh, I think the way we stuck with it, I think, you know, it's, it's kind of been, you know, how we've been all year. I think we've been pretty resilient and, and you know, come down a goal. I think we're, we're confident that we're able to, to get it back. So, uh, yeah, definitely definitely wasn't easy when you're, you come from behind against them. But, uh, you know, like you said, a resilient effort. Why do you think you guys keep finding a way? Um, that's just kind of the, I guess, makeup of the team. Um, it's, it's been like that for for a while. I feel like there's there's never really panic in the in the room in between periods, whatever it may be. I think we have the confidence, and the confidence is something that you build throughout the course of the year. Like I said, um, I don't think we ever feel like we're out of games. Um, and now, I mean, we have a lot of high end players that have the ability to put the puck in the net and. It's, uh, it's good for us, I think, uh, when, when you get those power play opportunities and they capitalize, it's a big, uh, big boost.